Megan and that missing podcast could have found a brand new home. But where is it and when can we expect it? Hi, good morning, Neil. Sean here in the heart of London. Lovely to see you today. I hope you're keeping well. I've had a Horlix, yes. Feeling nice and toasty warm out here today. Hence the reason I don't have a jacket. Trust me, don't shout at me. It's very mild out here today. Apparently it's 12. Don't know what it's like where you are in the world. I know Australia are enjoying a lovely summer right now. So envious of you. What it's like in the, the rest of the world, Brazil, Argentina, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, where further field in fact what's it like in japan for instance you know new zealand i know canada will that be cold now I think so do let me know what you're having weather wise as i say we're all stumped over here every two minutes you bring out your scarf your coat your thick stuff and then of course you get out and you think gosh i'm boiling i'm sweating more than prince harry doing a podcast truly of course, that is your break and roll story coming out of London today. On a more serious note, as we know, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle picked up a huge pay deal from the streaming giants, audio things, or whatever they called them, Spotify. Explained Spotify to me the other day and said, oh, you can make your own playlist and you can download these songs and all that sort of stuff. I thought, weren't they called cassettes that you record off the radio? But again, is it me? Interesting to note, though, so far in that deal that they managed to rake in, quite a few thousand pounds, not millions, let me tell you, whatever people are saying, not millions, a few thousand pounds so far, because they haven't produced any content. They get the more money when the content's ready. But of course, it looks like it could be finding a brand new home too. They will still have the deal with Spotify, but what happens with a lot of these companies is they sub-license the material out to make sure, of course, it reaches a wider audience, perhaps an audience that they may more inclined to tune into the messages, <clears throat> I use that term loosely, uh, that Harry and Meghan perhaps might be wishing to put down on record. Now, it's interesting to note because one of the companies that looks set to basically sign up for this particular offer could be none other than a once much esteemed BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. Now, let me explain the reasons behind this because they're very big. They have an operation over here called BBC Sounds. And this is another thing where you download it and you can watch and see things whenever you fancy. Never really interested myself. But of course, what I do find fascinating with this is if they decide to take the Harry and Meghan podcast, it would do them a considerable favor because it does have a lot of followers. Now, the BBC Sounds is not necessarily known as one of those great platforms, let me explain. They have reality TV stars over here, people like Gemma Collins that they pay thousands of pounds to every week to record bits about their lives. Fascinating, so I'm told. So they will be in the bracket, really, if you think about it, of esteemed music people and then reality TV stars. Now, of course, it depends on what genre Harry and Meghan are deciding to go down with their podcast. Will it be preachy? Of course, will it be entertaining? Or will it just simply be social messaging? Who knows? It's interesting because nobody really knows what Harry and Meghan plan to do via Spotify, seemingly including Spotify themselves. But as I say, it's a very clever manoeuvre by the people behind their podcast because, as we all know, the BBC are not much favoured right now by the British monarchy following on from those dire documentaries. And apparently there's still a podcast about that particular area of their lives to come. They've decided to re-edit elements of it. Oh yes, I'll keep you posted on that once that decides to launch. Maybe the BBC are having second thoughts about just being so terribly nasty to, of course, our much-loved monarchy over here. But if Prince Harry and Meghan do decide to do a stream deal with them, they, of course, will be then seen as once again something of an enemy, given the new low that the BBC and the British monarchy are currently enduring. As ever, when I know more, you know more. Neil Sean in the heart of London.